Hi, this is Solace Ames, and the topic of this video is going to be body positivity and Asian women. And I'm going to start off talking about my own personal development and how I was socialized to view my own body and the things that have uh, influenced that over the years. And when I was growing up as a child, I got a lot of negative messages about my body. I would be in the girls' locker room at school and be surrounded by girls telling me, what's wrong with you? How can you see with those eyes? You don't have any breasts. You're disgusting. Uh, you don't even look human. And I would get that. I got that over a period of many years, mostly from other women, telling me that I was not really a woman. And uh, then, on the other hand, when I went through puberty, or even actually before that, even around that time, I would have a lot of men coming up to me and telling me, oh, you're so beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're, you should be a model. And I didn't know what to believe. It was very difficult for me to make sense of all these mixed messages. But one thing I did notice was that, you know, some people would say to me, you can be a model in a nice way. Uh, other women, sometimes other men, and they meant it as a compliment on my appearance. And I looked into that, and I realized that the first thing I would have to do would be to lose about 20 to 30 pounds. And uh, just do a lot of things to my body that I wasn't really happy about doing. Like, um, you know, pluck my eyebrows even. I wasn't happy about that. And, uh, and I realized that even if I did those things, even if I altered my body to that extent to fit in with this idealized uh, uh, mold of what a body was, then uh, it's, I could still never expect to become a supermodel because back then, I'm talking about like, um, you know, late 80s, early 90s, there were no Asian women in fashion magazines. I would never have gotten beyond a sort of niche anyway, even if I had the perfect body and the perfect face, which I don't. And so when people started telling me that, you could be a model. It started making me very angry and uh, very unhappy. And as a result of that, I became very anti-model. And this is a personal thing for me. I'm not saying everybody needs to be this way. But I never bought a woman's fashion magazine again in my life. I just decided I was going to reject that standard. I did not want to be the kind of person that uh, people were always saying, well, if she only did this, then, you know, I'm, I don't want to be forever striving for that next level of physical appearance. Uh, it just, it seems so terrifying to me that so many people wanted me to be that way. They're just, just a little bit, lose more weight, do this, do that. No, 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 no. Oh. So I think as a result of that attitude towards female beauty standards, I had a pretty good relationship with my body. And, uh, you know, to this day, I am a size 12 US. I'm a plus size in Japan. I, um, you know, I guess I'm thick, maybe. I don't really think of myself as fat. Not that it's bad to be fat, but I am definitely do not fit the mold for an Asian woman. And I've had people tell me that in good ways and in bad ways, but it doesn't really bother me anymore. You know, I'm happy in my own body. But it does really upset me that there are so many Asian women who aren't. And I could go on for another hour talking about why, talking about things like many of us coming from immigrant families where we get messages like eat every last grain of rice because you don't know where the next is coming from. Um, you know, to, oh, well, there are no Asian women in the media in the US, so you look to other countries and you look at their high fashion. And of course, in their high fashion in Korea and Japan, all the ladies are very thin, very petite, they have huge eyes, um, and they have very pale skin. And it's, I don't want to speak for South Asians, but you, there are also a lot of unrealistic standards there when you look at their media. Um, so it's, it's very difficult for us to come to a healthy level of acceptance for our bodies. So what I'm doing, and I'm doing this with a friend and co-mod, um, we are starting a Tumblr site called Asian Women Body Rainbow. 
and this site is very simple, very simple idea, showcasing the bodies of women, non, not necessarily sexualized bodies, not desexualized or sexualized, but just very simply bodies of women who don't usually don't fit that mold. And this is not about excluding people because even if you are an Asian woman who has that perfect, um, uh, you know, look that you see for the K-pop idols or um, you know, supermodels, that's over the whole span of your life. You still need body acceptance because all of us are going to uh, grow old. And when we grow old, maybe we go through menopause and go. When they were kind of shrink and go. Yeah. Or, I mean, there's really no alternative. If you don't go old, then you die, and then your body goes, oh. you know? So there, there is no perfect body that we can always have. We are always, uh, you know, part of a, um, you know, a, a changing world and in a changing body. And so the message of this site, and I think body positivity in general, is not or you have to be 100% proud and happy with the body you're in. No, um, that's not that's not the, the message that I want to give people because a lot of times that's sort of shaming people and saying, you have to like your body, and if you don't like your body, then something's wrong with you. And uh, what what really, that's, that's a very negative message too. But all I want to do with this and getting those images out there and just providing some visual reinforcement for people telling them you don't have to hate yourself. There are other options. It is not natural for you to be made to hate yourself. And that's it, really. And uh, so I hope you'll check out the site. It's called asianwomenbodyrainbow.tumblr.com. And I'm uh, very excited about it. Until next time, bye.